The British Embassy in Addis Ababa has held a ceremony to celebrate the coronation of King Charles III in its residential compound garden. The event, which aimed to recreate the street parties that will be held across the UK throughout the weekend, had games, exhibition of British art, and a fashion show in which talented designers from Ethiopia showcased their designs and achievements, which in part was helped by their works with the British Council. In his opening remark for the event, Great Britain's ambassador to Ethiopia, Darren Welsh, welcomed guests and mentioned it was also a celebration of the long-standing relation between Ethiopia and his country, as evident by the 100-acre compound where the event took place that was gifted by Emperor Minilik II to Queen Victoria in 1896. He also extended warm greetings to ambassadors from Canada, Australia and New Zealand, stating, whatever constitutional arrangements there will be, they will always be the extended families of Great Britain and the monarchy with their intertwined history and strong blood ties. The event continued with traditional Ethiopian band performing a rendition of God Save the King, as well as the national anthems of Ethiopia and the African Union. Models took to the catwalk prepared in the garden afterwards, showcasing various designs from different designers, while donning umbrellas adorned with flags of the nations of Great Britain, as well as the Union Jack. In the honor of King Charles III, and his passion for sustainability and conservation, guests were able to plant seed balls in flower bed in the embassy compound and were treated to various British-inspired snacks and spirits. African Renaissance Television Services was able to interview Ambassador Darren Welsh after the event in which he gave some remarks about the friendship between Ethiopia and the UK, as well as developing arts and cultural connections between the two countries. Emperor Haile Selassie was welcomed into the UK uh, when he was uh, had to leave Ethiopia. Uh, our Queen uh, visited Ethiopia, uh, and so I'm expecting the relationship between our two countries to continue to flourish. There's a lot that will continue the same. We're going to be a strong development partner. We want to see Ethiopia uh, prosper, uh, to continue to reduce poverty, to grow, to improve the livelihoods of her people in peace. And the UK will continue to be a strong partner, helping to cement peace in this country, to help bring trade and development uh, and prosperity for Ethiopia's people. Well, well Ethiopia's got its own really rich and vibrant cultural and art scene and we respect that enormously and so does the UK as you say we are well known for our innovation and our art. The, the art show we've seen this evening which brings together the best of Ethiopian and British talent has really been fantastic as a good example of how through the British Council and other mechanisms we can continue to strengthen those art and cultural links and they're good in their own right because they help us see different ways of creation, creating art, but also they bring people together and that's really important as well.